Hi and welcome to another video. In this one we're going to be simplifying expressions that have two different variables and we'll be looking at expressions that have some adding and subtracting and also some that have multiplying. Okay, time to get your notebooks and pencils ready. Let's begin. Here's our first one. 5b take away 2b plus 7c. If you watched the previous video and you can click on the bubble that's just appeared to watch it, you would know that 5b take away 2b simplifies to 3b. Okay, the only difference with that expression is that we're now adding the 7c on as well to create this expression and that then gives you 3b plus 7c. 3b plus 7c is your final answer. You can't simplify any more than that. The b's and the c's remain completely separate because b has one value, c has another value and you have to leave them separately, separate like that. Okay, next expression, not going to change very much. I'm just going to turn that over and make that 5b plus 2b plus 7c. Okay, well now you would know that from the previous video, 5b plus 2b gives you 7b. So this bit here is 7b and then you have to add the 7c still. Okay, and that is it. You cannot simplify anymore. So that's the final answer. Okay, next one. Again, I'm not going to change very much. All I'm going to do is swap the order of the terms around. And I think I'll flip this over, make that take away 2b. So we've got 5b plus 7c take away 2b. The important thing when you're simplifying expressions like this is that you get the terms with the same variable together. It makes it a lot easier. And that's called collecting the like terms, the terms that are like each other. So bring these two together and leave that one by itself. Right, well then we had something that very much like the expression that we first started with. So 5b take away 2b gives us 3b and we've still got 7c to add on. So let's just recap. Bring the terms together that, are the, uh, that have the same variable. So in this case we're going to bring the b's together and then simplify. So 5b take away 2b is 3b, still got 7c to add on. The special thing to, to point out is that when I move them, the sign to the left of the coefficient, the sign to the left of the variable goes with it. So in this case the sign to the left of 2b is take away and here the sign to the left of the 7c is plus. And the plus went with the 7c and the take away went with the 2b. Okay, really, really important. Just to show you that it works with other numbers too, let's try this. 6t plus 9e take away 5t. So I said collect the like terms, bring the t's together. 6t take away 5t, that bit there gives you t. We've still got 9e to add and we have to leave it like that. We cannot simplify any further, that is as far as it goes t plus 9e. Okay, I don't want to change too much but I want to bring in, I'll go back to how it was, and bring in plus 3t. Okay, so the, the focus of this exercise is really just collecting the like terms, so we get the t's together, we get the e's together. 6t take away 5t, we said that was t before, and then we've got add 9e, add 3e. Well this bit by itself simplifies to add 12e. So altogether we've got t plus 12e. That's it. Right and let's reset that. Change that very slightly just so we get the chance to practice it again with something similar. Okay, collect the like terms. Get the t's together and watch this, this sign to the left of that goes with it. The plus sign to the left of the 90 goes with it. Right now, 6t take away 5t. We've done that a few times. That was t. And then we've got add 9e take away 3e this time. And that, that bit alone simplifies to add 6e. 
that's it, done. Okay, so that was adding and taking away two different variables, but now let's have a look at what you what happens when you're multiplying. So b times c, for example. B times C just simplifies to BC. That was really easy. B times C simplifies to BC. Okay. In fact, C times B, you would also say simplifies to BC because you put them in alphabetical order. Okay. So let's just switch that back so how we had it before. B times C simplifies to BC. Now we're going to do 7 times B times C. Well, if we said that the B times C simplifies to BC like that, we've now got 7 times BC, and 7 times BC simplifies to that. So 7 times B times C simplifies to 7BC. Okay, so let's just switch that for that, 7b, and we'll now do 7b times c. Remember that 7b stands for 7 times b, so 7b times c. is also 7bc, and again, notice how I'm keeping the variables in alphabetical order. Okay, we'll keep the 7b there and swap the c for 3c. So we've got 7b times 3c. Well, okay, 7b stands for 7 times b and 3c stands for 3 times c. So what we've got now is 7 times b times 3 times c. What I'd really like to do Let's try and rearrange this so that I've got the numbers multiplied together, 7 times 3, and the variables multiplied together, b times c. So if I write that out, we would have something like this, 7 times 3 times b times c, and well, that bit is obviously 21 and b times c is bc and then we've got 21 times bc which is 21 bc what you've probably spotted is a short way to do it which is just to times the coefficients together and then times the variables together and you're done okay so that was 7b times 3c how about 7b squared times 3c 7b squared stands for 7 times b times b. 3 times c is 3c. So rearrange that so we've got the numbers together. We've got 7 times 3 times b times b times c. That bit's 21. This bit, b times b times b, b times b times c is b b c. And then we've got to times that by 21, so you get 21, well, not BBC, but B squared. That'd be better, wouldn't it? 21B squared C. Okay, and then in the final example, we'll go with 7B squared times 3C squared. Okay. So 7b squared fully expanded is this, 7 times b times b, times 3 times c times c, which is 3c fully expanded. Yeah. Okay, so rearrange that so we've got the numbers, the coefficients all together. 7 times c times b times b times c times c. So that's a 3. That's 21. That's b squared. That's c squared. So the final answer is 21 b squared c squared. All right.
So you probably saw that this, the, the quick way to do that would have been to times the coefficients together really quickly and then b squared and c squared, they're two different variables, they don't you can't do anything with the index numbers so you just have to write them as b squared c squared like that without any of the multiplication signs okay I have one conundrum here these two people blue person and orange person I tried to simplify the expression 8m plus 4g take away 2m person blue thinks it's 10m plus 4g person orange thinks that that will simplify to 6m plus 4g. So I'm going to pause the video now to give you the chance to think about it and then I'm going to quickly go through the workings. Okay, we're back again. Let's go through the workings. So 8m plus 4g take away 2m. If you remember towards the beginning of this video, I said that what you need to do is to collect the like terms. So we've got M's and we've got G's. The M's are going to go together, so I'm going to rewrite this out as 8M take away 2M. Yeah, look, that sign here goes with this guy. So 8m take away 2m plus 4g. Simplify that.